Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to, it's a mouthful, enable or disable Windows Defender Exploit Guard Controlled Folder Access. What that does is protects your computer from ransomware. However, there may be times where you need to temporarily disable it because you know whatever you're trying to work with does not contain ransomware, but you're being blocked. Typically, we come down here to the Windows Security button right there. And typically, I would just go to Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, and I would disable real-time protection. However, if you need to get directly to controlled folder access, we can, as you can see here, we'll start right down here again, and we're going to go to virus and threat protection, and we're going to scroll all the way down, and you're going to find ransomware protection right here. Click on manage ransomware protection, and by default, it's on. So you can turn it on or off as needed. Pretty simple, right? Just remember to turn it back on when you're done. Now, if you're using a third-party antivirus, Avast, Avira, AVG, Bitdefender, Kaspersky, this will not be available to you because it's taken over by your own antivirus. This is Windows Defender's built-in ransomware protection. Now, here's another option you can do. Let's say you find that you need to do this on a regular basis. We can add it to the context menu. Download the files. I will show you right here. It's under this bold section right here. And if you click on download, enable or disable, click on download now. And the files will come down as I just showed you here. So we'll double click that. You can extract the files, but a lot of times they'll work right within the zip depending on what you're using. So let's add it. Click yes. Click yes again. And finally click OK. That's it. Now you might want to save those files in case you change your mind later. Or, as we mentioned in the guide, you can download Major Geek's Windows Tweaks, and you can always find it in, I don't remember where it is, here it is. It's in this folder right here, and you'll always be able to have the files on your drive. There you go. So, let's take a look at how it works. There it is. Turn it on. And it's done through PowerShell. A little bit faster than, as you just saw, the steps I did. So now you can obviously right click and turn it off. Pretty much the same exact thing you just saw. Now, if you change your mind, of course, we provide a remove so that you don't have to deal with it. And it's the same thing. Double click yes, click yes, click OK. And as you can see, it's gone. There you have it. And that is how you can manually or quickly with a context menu, enable or disable the Windows Defender Exploit Guard Controlled Folder Access. I just wanted to see if I could keep saying it and not trip up on it. It's not too tough. All right, bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo. You click on that, little subscribe pops up. Bada bing. We love that. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.